Hello everyone, today is a new day, new life, new beginning, and new lesson. So our lesson for today is about circle, inscribed angle, intercepted arc, and central angle. So we have some problems here. In example number one, we have circle O with a given triangle we have angle A and 32 degrees angle okay so find the value of each variable we have variable A and variable B so paano natin kukunin ang variable ng angle A okay madali lang doon sa coloral corollary to an angle inscribed in a semi-circle is a right angle. So, dito, this is a semi-circle, and then we have this triangle inscribed on that semi-circle. How do we know that it is semi-circle? Because this is diameter. It a line passes through the center of the circle. Okay? So, this is right angle. So, if it is right angle, this angle is 90 degrees. Therefore, our A is 90 degrees. Okay? Next. How about B? Our B is this one. Okay. Remember that an arc Okay. An inscribed angle is half the me measure of its intercepted arc. Okay. So this is our inter uh, inscribed angle. So this is our inscribed angle. We do not have the measurement of this angle yet. So to get the measurement of angle uh, D arc B or B kailangan muna natin makuha ang measurement ng angle na ito. Paano? Alalahanin natin na ang measurement ng isang triangle ay 180. Okay? So, 180 minus, ang given natin dito ay 90 plus 32. So, 180 minus 90 plus 32, we have 0 plus 2 is 2. 9 plus 3, 12. So, we have 122. So, 180 minus 122. So, 10, 7. 10 minus 2 is 8. 7 minus 2 is 5. Therefore, we have 58. So, ang angle na ito ay 58. So, ang inscribed, if ang inscribed angle natin ay 58, ang intercepted arc niya, Ang intercepted arc, bakit? Kasi this angle and this angle, yung dulo ng dalawa at opposite ng angle, ito yung tinatawag nating intercepted arc. So, ang ating B ay intercepted arc. So, ano ang intercepted arc natin? So, kung 58 ang inscribed angle natin, then ang in intercepted arc ay times 2. So, 58 times 2, so we have 8 times 2, 16, carry 1, 5 times 2, 10 plus 1, 11. So we have 116 for our, our B. Okay? Okay, so ganyan lang ang number 1. How about number 2? So sa number 2, kung napapansin ninyo, kailangan din natin kunin ang a and B. So, nasaan ang A? Ito ang A. Nasaan ang B? Ito ang B. Okay, again, uh, kailangan lang natin, so, ang arc dito, ang mga given dito ay this angle and this arc. Okay? So, kung napapansin ninyo, ang uh, angle 60 ay inscribed angle at ang kanyang intercepted arc ay PT which is our A so intercepted arc 
since 60 ito, then ang A natin ay 60 times 2. Okay? So, 60 times 2, we have 120 degrees. Therefore, ang A natin ay 120 degrees. Okay? Okay. So, kung ang A ay 120 degrees at ang TS ay 30 degrees, yun naman ang ating B. Why? Kasi ang B ay also inscribed angle at ang kanyang intercepted arc ay PTS. So, PT is 120 plus 30. So, 120 plus 30 is 0. 3 plus 2, 5, 1. So, ang ating B or angle B ay so, ang arc PTS ay 150. So, paano natin kukunin ang angle B? Divided by 2. 150 divided by 2. Okay? Bakit divided by 2? Kasi ang intercepted arc ay half ng or yes, ang in, ang sorry, klitin natin, ang inscribed angle ay half ng intercepted arc. At ang intercepted arc ay times 2 ng inscribed angle. Kaya mag-divide tayo. So, 150 divided by 2, we have 7, 14, subtract 5 minus 4 is equal to 1, bring down 0, 10 divided by 2 is 5, 5 times 2 is equal to 10, 0. Therefore, our angle B is equal to 75 degrees. So, ang B natin ay 75 degrees. Okay? Next, number 3 problem. So, kailangan natin ang X and Y. Pero bago yan, kailangan ko lang uh, sabihin sa inyo ang corollary number 3. The opposite angles of a quadrilateral quadrilateral, sorry, inscribed in a circle are supplementary. So, meaning to say, this angle and this angle are supplementary. Pag sinabi nating supplementary, pag pinag-add mo ay equal to 180. This one and this one are also 180. Okay? So, meron tayong mga given dito, 80, 70. Okay? And this is 90. So, paano natin makukuha ngayon ang FG? Ang FG makukuha natin, Pag in natin lahat ito, isubtract natin ng 360. Bakit? Kasi ang whole circle ay 360. So, i-add muna natin ang mga given. 70 plus 80 plus 90, 0. 7 plus 8, 15 plus 9, 24. So, we have 240. So, 360 minus 240. So, add 0, 6 plus 4, 10, carry 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ah, sorry. Nag-add na tayo. Subtract. 0 minus 0, 0. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. Then, 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. So, we have 120. So, ang FG ay 120 degrees. Ngayon, kukunin na natin CX. Paano natin makukuha si X? Ang X ay inscribed angle at ang kanyang intercepted arc ay 80 and 70. So, i-add natin 80 plus 70 is equal to 150. Okay? And then, since this is uh, intercepted arc, so, i-divide natin siya para makuha natin si inscribed angle. So, divided by 2. So, 150, pareho dito kanina, 150 divided by 2 is equal to 75. So, meron tayong x is equal to 75 degrees. Paano si y? Si y naman ay pareho lang. Inscribed angle din siya at ang kanyang intercepted arc ay 
this one. So, i-add na lang din natin si 70 at 120. So, 70 plus 120, here 0, 7 plus 2, 9, 1. So, 190 divided by 2, so we have 19 divided by 2, we have 8, 9. 9 times 2, 18, subtract 1, 10. 10 divided by 2, 5. Then, so, we have 95 degrees. So, this is 95 degrees. Ang Y. Okay? Okay, so, ganyan lang ang pagkuha ng unknown variable. Kung ang pinag-uusapan natin ay mga angles or arcs. Talking to uh, inscribed angle and central angle. And of course, with their intercepted arc. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you learned from this video and I hope that you're going to watch for more videos. Bye and keep safe.